Yes, hello. Um, I'm Tor Sagan. Um, and uh, Rock Dorama is my YouTube channel. Uh, publish lots of videos. And I uh, thought I'd just do a little blog for you. Um, it's now um, Monday, the 26th of October. And um, tomorrow morning I'm uh, flying over to Florence in Italy. And I'm going to Tuscany for the uh, 2010 Aprilia RSV4 uh, world launch and um, the world launch will be at uh, Mugello um, and um, I'm really looking forward to riding the RSV4 at Mugello because um, I think uh, I'll be able to explore the um, well very, very close anyway, uh, the uh, top speed of the RSV4 down the very long straight of Mugello. And uh, uh, weather forecast is good, you know, 20, 21 degrees sun. So it uh, should be a very good launch. Uh, I rode the uh, RSV4 factory at uh, the world launch at Misano uh, a few months ago. And um, it's a fantastic motorcycle, the RSV4 factory. Uh, 180 horsepower. Um, it weighs around uh, 180 um, six kilograms, um, and that's curb weight, but uh, without uh, battery and fluids. So, um, so um, the overall uh, weight uh, with fluids and battery should be around 190 something kilogram. But uh, the Aprilia RSV4 factory, um, it's such a nimble uh, motorcycle. Uh, I mean, it's a it's a thousand cc V4, but um, uh, in terms of size um, and uh, ergonomics, it's like a, you know, it's like a 250 Grand Prix race bike. And um, we all know, you know, Aprilia are uh, experts in uh, uh, that area. You know, 250s. So, um, so um, it's not a coincidence that uh, Aprilia has made such a you know small and nimble uh, superbike, and uh, Max Biaggi has done really really well for the first year this bike. Uh, you'll have to remember that um, Aprilia has never made you know a V4 before this one, and um, um, in his first year. Um, it's just done fantastic, um, and uh, next year, you know, I reckon the RSV4 will be uh, up there again, and, uh, and uh, you know, perhaps I can challenge the uh, Ducatis and Yamahas even more. But um, tomorrow is the RSV4 R, um, it's the standard version of the bike. Uh, the factory version I rode um, a few months ago at Misano had uh, you know, full Berlin's suspension, Brembo monoblocks. Um, but basically, those are the only changes on the RSV4R. Uh, it's got 43mm Shofa forks and, um, and you know, more standard uh, radial calipers, but um, they'll, they'll still be, uh, you know, able to stop the bike quite well and, um, and the Shova 43mm front forks are uh, pretty much standard you know most of the uh, Japanese um, super bikes and, uh, and it's been so for, for many many years um, not on all of them but uh, it's still very very good um, equipment hopefully tomorrow evening uh, I'll be able to do a little atmospheric video from uh, whichever hotel I'm in in Florence uh, showing the bike or whatever but uh, on uh, Wednesday night will uh, be the first night where I'll have uh, proper footage of the bike because I'm riding it on Wednesday and, um, and uh, I'll have a little short teaser video out uh, as soon as I'm able to publish it so stay tuned and uh, see you around.